Okay, so here's the model of the knee joint. Um, if you recall, I, I talked in class about how the knee joint is a good joint to study because it has everything in it pretty much that any kind of a synovial or diarthrotic joint can have. It's got ligaments, it has tendons, it's got meniscuses, it's got fat pads, it's got bursa. So it's got all of those things, and, and you'll see a lot of those on this model. You won't necessarily see all of them, but you'll see a lot of them. And so uh, you have to be sure that you uh, study this. So here's that patellar tendon I talked about. This comes from your quads, the muscles in your front of your thigh. It crosses over your knee joint and it attaches to the tibial tuberosity right back here. And you can see there's that patella that's embedded in it, okay? Outside the joint capsule, you have two extra capsular ligaments that hold the knee together, all right? So this is the medial collateral ligament. Just turn this a little bit. Medial collateral ligament, which will be on the same side as the tibia. Because the tibia is medial, right? And then on the other side is your lateral collateral ligament, okay? Which is on the same side as the fibula, because fibulas are lateral. Okay, so these are ligaments that are outside of the joint capsule. If we pull this femur out of the way, you're going to see the meniscuses. So meniscuses are cups of cartilage. Okay, they're made out of fibrocartilage. Okay. They give the knee a little bit more stability because quite honestly, when you know whoever is making humans design the knee, it's not a terribly stable joint. Okay. So these are made out of fibrocartilage. The one on the fibular side is the lateral meniscus and the one uh, on the opposite side, because it is on top of the tibia, is the medial meniscus. And then you've got these two ligaments that cross over inside the capsule. And I'm gonna come around to the front view, okay? Those are gonna be those cruciate ligaments. Those are the ligaments that all the athletes are constantly tearing. So when we pull this back, this is our anterior cruciate right here. It comes from the posterior part of the intercondylar notch to the front. And then behind it, you can see the posterior cruciate ligament, okay? The anterior cruciate ligament is the one that's more commonly torn, all right? And there are multiple reasons for that. So make sure you spend some time with our, our knee model here, folks, okay?